What's going on, guys? Chaz here with another reaction for you. So we are going to be watching Mortal Kombat Meet the Cast. That's with a K. Um, I guess feature that they're gonna they have on their website. And let me say something, guys. I am super duper duper excited for this movie. I am so hyped. Warner Brothers products for some reason have been just knocking it out of the park. Everything they've been putting out has been awesome. Even Tom and Jerry, if you guys didn't catch that, my son loved it. It was that was funny. Um and it's just like, man, imagine they were able to just put this out in theaters. You know, it it kind of sucks, you know, that that happened, but you know, like I said, if you guys want to watch, I actually went back to the theater as a video. I'll put the link in the description. And I went back to the theater for the first time. I saw Kong, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, and that was phenomenal. I am definitely, definitely going to see Mortal Kombat. Like, <laughs> there's no possible way I'm not going to movie theater to see that. Um, but tell me, guys, um, w are you guys going to go see Mortal Kombat in the theater? Let me know. Let's talk about it. Comments down below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let's get right into this new featurette from the greatest movie that hasn't came out yet. <laughs> I hope it doesn't suck. All right, guys. Ready? Three, two, and one. Throughout history, different cultures all over the world reference a great tournament. That dragon marking? I think it's an invitation to fight for something known as Mortal Kombat. Yes, Mortal Kombat. I've always talked about respecting the material and respecting oh, the fans. Look, at, look at Raiden. They all deserve Ooh, to see Ludi. their beloved characters elevated to this cinematic height. This really comes across as a powerful Let's experience go. that we haven't seen before. It's this grounded, dramatic, but violent tale. Broke his arm, definitely what broke his arm. so striking about Shang Tsung is how expansive the story is. It's epic. We have all the great characters that the fans love. I'm Sonya. Name's Jax. That's Kano. I'm Liu Kang. Kung Lao. Lord Raiden. Scorpion. I am Sub Zero. The interesting thing about playing a video game character is that you have to walk this line of being larger than Ooh, life Jax. and also making that person real. There's actually rich emotional life behind every single character. Oh, look at that. We need to be authentic. You need actors who can perform. Kung Lao looks so freaking fire. I hope he doesn't die quick. <laughs> it's mind-blowing what they do. And I think that fight element that has always been in the game can be brought to life on the screen. And it's not all CG, I promise you. No matter how many of my people you put in the ground, we will not fail. I've always believed that something elegant and beautiful can cohabitate with brutal and primal. All of the detail gives the Ooh, Lord a sense of realism and connectivity to this world. The first time that I started seeing all of these guys in costume, I was blown away. They've completely brought all of these characters to life. This is more than just seeing a movie produced. This is seeing something that I've been passionate about my whole life finally come to the screen. Let's go. I love working on this kind of international project. It really represents the Mortal Kombat world. Yo, <laughs> he's jacked as hell. It's both a reward for the fans and a new experience. Don't be fooled that it's just a game. It's more than that. It's cinematic. It's beautiful. Yes. Heart, yes. Yes. Emotion. All those ingredients together. It should be a fun, powerful ride. This movie is going to be amazing. <laughs> so enjoy. I will, man. I will. <laughs> Go. Mortal Kombat. The only thing I. April 23rd. Yeah, I know they pushed it back. Uh, oh, almost restarted again. Um. Ah, man. 
It's crazy that they pushed it back. Um, you know, I am disappointed they pushed it back a week. I mean, it, I know it's only a week, but um, it is kind of it kind of sucks. But um, they 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 must have a good reason. Um, maybe they got to do some more VFX. The only thing, only gripe I have with anything that has come out so far is that they they didn't like hide Goro. Like my friend Lewis would say, why do they have to put everything in the trailer? You know, um, it's true. It's true. Um, uh, everything is about clout now and hype. So I guess they put everything in there. But I remember trailers back in the day where they didn't show nothing. And then you get surprised and you're like, oh, damn, they didn't see that coming. It's like animes. Like they might show you a trailer and, you know, what's happening next in the next episode. But then something crazy happens. You didn't think it was going to happen. It's, uh, you know, that's something that I, I, the only gripe I have is them showing Goro kind of. Uh, I wish that would have been like a kind of a secret kind of thing. But uh, let me know, guys. What did you guys think? Um, are you guys happy? Are you guys excited as me? Did this cast, me and the cast, like really sum up and um, really uh, harden that feeling that you know that Mortal Kombat the movie is going to be amazing? Or are you kind of scared and hope that it's not going to, that it's going to suck? Um, like, share, and comment down below. And please subscribe to my channel and get me to one thousand subscribers all right guys i'll see you on the next one peace